Hey, I wanted to just work through some of the solutions here. Um, we did these problems last week, but I wanted to make absolutely sure that you feel comfortable doing them. So these are the conservation momentum problems. They're based on collisions. And so the formula that we're going to be using is M1V1 initial plus M2V2 initial equals M1V1 final plus M2V2 final. And really, um, let's just kind of be clear on labels here. I'm just going to order these by the way I find them. And what I mean by that is this is the first mass, so I'll call it M1. This is the second mass, so I'll call it M2. Um, we're told that by pushing the tank away with a speed of 2 meters per second, the astronaut goes in the opposite direction, so we want to figure out what his speed is at the end. So this is actually V2 final of the tank. When we say carries an empty oxygen tank, what we mean is that both are at rest to start with. So these initial speeds are zero. Let's go ahead and plug in all these numbers. So I have the 80 kilogram astronaut moving at zero, the tank also initially moving at zero. And when you look at this, it's really tempting to think, well, everything's zero. How could we possibly get a number for an answer? And that's why it's really important to plug in all the numbers into the equation just to be safe. So this 80 kilogram astronaut then recoils in a direction. We don't know what that speed is going to be, so we leave it as V1F, and then the tank is going forward at 2 meters per second. So what we end up getting on this side when we work out the numbers is 0 equals 80 V1F plus 20. When we isolate V1F, we're going to actually end up getting negative 0 0.25 meters per second. So what this means in real life, if we had this astronaut um, holding onto this tank, um, that's supposed to be an astronaut holding a tank, is the tank would go this way, and the astronaut, there, there's a space helmet, or her space helmet, there, um, is going back at negative 0 0.25 meters per second the other way. All right, next problem, let's take a look at problem number two um, on the next page. And so we have a 2 kilogram melon balanced on a circus performer's head. So that's going to be our M1. An archer shoots a 50 gram arrow, it's actually going to be 0 0.05 kilograms. And this arrow has a speed V2 initial of 30 meters per second. V2 final, the arrow emerges at 18 meters per second, and we want to know the speed of the melon. Now, I gave you an answer key for this, so let's just work out and confirm the answer. So we have M1V1 initial plus M2V2 initial equals M1V1 final plus M2V2 final. So we end up getting here 2 kilogram melon moving at 0. We have this arrow going at 0, 0.0, well it has a mass of 0 0.05 kilograms, and it's initially shot at 30 meters per second. It hits the melon that has an unknown final speed, um, and it emerges from the melon, the arrow does, 0 0.05, with a speed of 18 meters per second. So let's go ahead and simplify. What we're going to end up getting here is 0 plus um, 1.5 equals 2v1f plus 0 0.9. We end up getting 0 0.6 equals 2 times v1 final. So the final speed of the melon is in fact 0 0.3 meters per second. Now, Questions three and four. I'd actually rather not work out video solutions for those. What I'd like to challenge you to do is to work these out on your own. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to actually email me your answer that you get. I will give you a little setup for number three. I'm going to tell you that M1 is going to be 50 kilograms. I'll tell you that V1 initial is two meters per second. And since the boy is riding the cart, we're going to say M2 is 70 kilograms, and the initial speed of the boy riding the cart is also 2 meters per second. Um, since the kid hits the floor at a speed of 0, what we're missing is V1 final. Um, so I've given you a little bit of a hint to set up for that. And then for number 4, I'd really like to see you try to solve this one on your own. So that gets you set up for the momentum quiz on Tuesday if you are in period E and on Wednesday if you're in periods A and D. So I hope that's helpful and I will see you in class.